Hello everyone. Today we're going to try something a little different. We're going to do some experimenting. I'm going to try to etch some metal. I have some little aluminum squares here and I cut out some little vinyl decals here that I'm going to use for my resist. And uh, we're going to etch them and see what happens. So, what you'll need is some kind of metal. Now this will work with aluminum, copper, stainless, um, regular steel, about any kind of metal I believe you should be able to etch with this. You will need some muriatic acid. Now this is bad stuff so be careful with it. So along with it you want some gloves. Keep yourself nice and safe with this crap. And we'll need some hydrogen peroxide. This is just some 3% stuff. Works plenty fine. Need you a way to measure out your acid and peroxide. Need some packing tape. A couple of containers. And that should be about it. Alright. First off, to get started, I'm going to take my aluminum squares here that I cut. And I am going to clean them up real good with some sandpaper, polish them up so they're nice and shiny, and get them ready to etch. All right, polish these up for right now. I just I have a piece of 180 grit sandpaper right here, and I'm just gonna give them a nice little sanding down. Got my three pieces here nice and clean. So what I'm gonna do now is just Take a little bit of alcohol and wipe them down just to get anything off of them that I don't want on them. Now, what you use to mask off whatever it is you're wanting to etch, they call that a resist. And uh, my wife just so happens to have one of them nifty little Cricut vinyl cutters. and I cut me out some just some regular vinyl here and then also I'm gonna try I have some of this iron on vinyl and we'll see what happens if I iron it straight onto it and then etch it and see how that works so I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna stick it onto my metal Alright, get that rubbed down real good so it's nice and stuck. And Alright, got my little vinyl piece on here. I'm gonna peel off the transfer tape in it. Are you kidding me? Oh come on. Well, that's not going to work. Apparently, that transfer tape is too strong for the vinyl I used. So, get this off of there and I'll try something else. That was a fail. Let's try this again. I have some here with a lot weaker transfer tape. So, let's. Stick it on there. Rub it down real good. Peel it off and see what happens. Oh yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. So the next one, I'm going to do the iron on. Take a bit of paper towel to put over it. And I'll press down nice and hard with my iron. Make sure it hasn't moved any. Got 
give this eh, 30 seconds or so. See what happens. Okay. Do it stick any? No, it hasn't stuck at all. Huh. Have a piece of wood here. I'm going to do this on. Maybe the iron's not hot enough. Maybe the paper towel wasn't quite doing it. A little crooked on the piece of aluminum. That'll be okay. This is just an experiment. Let's peel it off. Let's off here and see what happens. No. Nope. Like that. It is not sticking at all. Well, okay, that was an experiment. Fail number two. I am gonna go with these two right here. I like them, they came out quite well. So now, let's mix up our stuff for etching. Be a good time. Put your gloves on. Get whatever it is you're going to use to measure this out. Get your container. And I'm going to mix two parts of the peroxide to one part of the acid. I don't need a whole lot, so I'm just going to mix up a little bit. Now, remember, muriatic acid is some gnarly stuff. If you get it on your skin, wash it off immediately with water. Don't fiddle around or anything like that. Just do it absolutely as soon as you can. And I'm gonna... Enough, that'll do. I'll pour this into my peroxide, nice and easy. Now, I have me a container of water for rinsing it off when it's all said and done. Okay, so, what's the use of the packing tape? Slide them out of the way. I'm gonna put it on the back side and as much as I can on the sides just to kind of keep it from the acid from eating at that. Cover the back side with the tape. Get it all up on the sides as best I can. I'm not looking for perfect here. Now other things you can use for a resist besides a vinyl, you can use Sharpie markers, as long as you go over them really good. Um, some paint would probably work. Nail polish works super, super well. There is a trick you can do with a laser printer. Let me know if you're interested in that. Um, put a comment down below and I can show you how to do that. That works really, really well for making things like circuit boards and whatnot. I've done a lot of that and it works super duper well. And then also, if you're just wanting to etch metal like this, I may have another little trick up my sleeve that would work also. So, I'm going to put me on another pair of gloves, and I'm going to get ready to etch this. Alright, I put it down into my etching solution here, and I'm going to kind of tilt it up a little bit, just to make sure it's good and covered. There we go. And I'm starting to see some fine bubbles come off of it. You probably see the top of it turn black. So I'm going to come back in a few minutes and see how it looks. I wanted to show you this. This is getting with it. Holy cow. I may take this outside. The fumes are getting a little stout. 
I mean, it's really getting with it. I put the second one in there just a moment ago. This may not take a few minutes. I think I'm gonna pull it out here and see what it looks like. All right, right off the bat, we have a problem. The vinyl's coming off and this is getting really hot. Yep. Fail number three, taking it out of here. Well, I mean, <laughs> that got a little vigorously reacting, ah, but I think the, it got, the metal got so hot from the reaction that it actually made the vinyl come loose, but it may not be entirely a fail. Let's see what happens. Well, hopefully you can see here. I mean, it wasn't totally a fail. I did get a decent little etch on this. I think what happens is with this mix, the hotter it gets, the more vigorous it gets, and especially with something like aluminum. So I am trying another one here, and my strategy for it is to let it go for a little bit, and then I'm gonna take it out, rinse it off, and then Kind of let things settle for a moment and then put it in for a little bit longer and rinse and repeat until I get an etch that I'm interested in. I believe the vinyl came off of this because this got so hot it made the, the adhesive on the vinyl release. So I'm going to take this one right now. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to rinse it off. I made me a little tape tab here so I can hold on to it. So I'm going to just kind of rinse it off and then put it back in for a moment. I'm going to do this for a few times for a few minutes and just kind of see what happens. That way if it gets too carried away, I've got some control over it. Just give it a little stir around every once in a while. But this one here I'm quite happy with. I took some, I think it was 1200 grit sandpaper and kind of just polished it up on a piece of glass and drilled a little hole in the corner and made a nifty little keychain. Put me some gloves on. I figured some of you are probably hollering at the screen, you idiot. Why you'd mess with ass with no gloves on? <laughs> All right. So I'm noticing that the vinyl's starting to peel up on this some. So I think I'm going to call this one good. So I'm going to take this, set it over to the side. I've uh, rinsed this off real well in the water. I'll peel the tape off of it and give it another good rinse and wipe it down with a paper towel. Now let's peel this vinyl off and see what I've got. So here's what I've come up with so far. It's got a decent little edge on it. Come on, focus. There we go. It's got a decent little edge on it. Feels pretty good. I'm going to sand this down a little bit and we'll see how it looks. pretty good. I'll take the edges of it and uh, hit it with the belt sander and I think I'll drill a little hole in the corner and make another keychain out of this. 
So maybe I'll do another video. We'll try this with some copper and with some stainless and then with some regular steel instead of just aluminum and see what happens. And then I mentioned before also I have another trick that may work. It doesn't use the acid and the chemicals and stuff like that. It's be a little bit safer to use. Uh, be a little more interesting of an experiment. So, yeah, I think it came out pretty good for a first time. Had a couple fails there with the uh, the backing paper for the vinyl that didn't work. The iron on vinyl that didn't work. So then kind of got a little carried away with it getting too hot in the solution. So yeah, it was a good learning experience. It was pretty fun, pretty cool. Gives me some ideas of things to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. Hope you found something useful with it. And uh, leave a comment down below if you want me to do some more experimenting with this and show you some other little tricks that I know. I've done circuit boards and now I've done <laughs> aluminum etchings. So it's pretty cool stuff. All right, so until next time, thanks for watching. Get out there and just go make it.